Welcome back to another video, and in today I will give you guys a tutorial on how to make a, a spell casting system in Minecraft. This uses a wand, and in this uh, situation right here, we use the fishing rod as a wand. So to just showcase this off pretty quickly, as you can see here, we have two spells, right? And if I crouch with one of the spells in my hand, I will equip it to my off hand. If I hold the fire, the uh, the wand, it will say which spell I have equipped. And then if I press L2, it will say I used the spell. So for now, I haven't made it, so there's an actual spell. This is just like the basic system, and you guys can implement what type of spell you want in the system. And this is like fully stackable. You can have infinite amount of spell books. And if you just want to switch book, you just hold something else than your fishing rod, or you just crouch again, and the book will be unequipped. And then you can use the next, next book like this. As you can see, I can switch between the two. Just crouch, uncrouch, crouch. You see. So if I just crouch right now, I'm going to unequip it. If I crouch again, I'll equip it. Just like that. And as you can see, boom, switch, hook, boom. This is a pretty cool system. And uh, you can have infinite amount, infinite amount of uh, spells, which is pretty sick. So let's get um, straight into... Uh, the tutorial, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the uh, very simple uh, over here. So this is just the um, text of when you have a book equipped. And as you can see on the fishing rod, oh, it says updraft. That is basically this one right here. So just copy this and you're good to go. Next one is uh, this one. This is for the second uh, spell book, uh, which has the data of data of three instead of two, which the previous one had. And the data is just to differentiate between the different books. And just real quick uh, to show you guys how to get a book with a data value, because you will need this. Um, just type in what you want, put in the amount right here, and then the next one over here is going to be the data. So for example, if I put three, I'll get another one of these spell books, Fireball. Pretty sick. Now I have two fireball uh, <laughs> books. But as you can just copy this. Next one right here. This is for the information about the book when you first hold it. So just copy this. And this is going to be um, uh, the, this thing right here. As you can see the text. So just copy this. And um, basically you will be good to go. Then right here, this is the same thing. By the way, just pause the video and like type type this down. This is basically the same thing, but just for the other spell book. Then uh, we move on to the actual kind of spell uh, thing uh, right here. Uh, this basically just gives um, you the book back after uh, uh, uncrouching. And of course, if you want to, if you want named books, uh, you can actually use a structure block. Place a structure block like right here, and name the book, drop it down, and then basically you just you just remove the slash give and replace it with the slash structure load and the name of the structure you're gonna load. If you want a named item instead. Next one right here, uh, chain unconditional. This just uh, removes the makes it air you know your offhand style is going to be replaced with air so there's nothing there next one here uh this just uh this one right here uh, replaces your offhand with the book uh, basically when you crouch with the book at hand it will do this and then a conditional uh chain just copy this and you're good to go. This is for the first spell. And basically the whole like the exact same system is here. Like this is the exact same system. But just with a new spell. So if you want more spells. Just copy this uh, right here. Uh, multiple times with different data values. Then this one. And then lastly chain unconditional. Then for the side here, this, as you can see, uh, of the name of the 
uh, command blocks. It's the switch system, which you can switch between the books, as well as a reset and fix uh, if taking out like this. So if I do equip this right here, if I take this out, it doesn't get bugged, you know? That's what this is basically for. Uh, and if we just look into the first one right here, uh, just copy this and you'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. And by the way, just don't leave yet because I'm going to show you guys how to get the scoreboard named full in case you guys don't know. So just stay tuned until I show off all the commands and I'll showcase how to get the scoreboard because this because the scoreboard is very uh, important. Next one right here. I just remember, just pause the video to um, type this stuff out if you want to uh, if you want to type it out. And then the final one here. By the way, all these are no ticks. So you don't gotta worry about that. Just copy what the, what it says, and you should be pretty good. Just as a heads up, this is pre like pretty advanced stuff. So if you are a a like a newbie at this, this is gonna be hard to understand and incorporate more spell books. But if you just copy this that I have right now, it will it will work for these two spells I have right now. It might be hard for you to understand how to incorporate more uh, spells. But you might understand it in the future. But this right here, this basically just tests for when you use the wand and you have a spell equipped. So right here, uh, if I have the updraft spell equipped and I use my wand, it will say that I used updraft. And you can switch this out with any type of spell you want. Or you can, you can switch this out with uh, it executing something. For example, giving you levitation as the name implies. Next right here, this just kills the fishing hook so it doesn't spawn or multiple things or type out the thing multiple times. Because if we do remove this, it's going to spam the chat as you can see right here. Uh, let's uh, equip the updraft one. Oh, let's see. There you go. As you can see, if I do turn that off. So just uh, this is just so it doesn't spam. This one right here is the same thing, but just with the fireball. So just copy this, and same thing here. And that is pretty much it for the video. Uh, oh, I did forget. I was going to show you guys this. If you want to, or you have to do this, um, you have to get the scoreboard named full. So to do this, you just type slash scoreboard. Uh, objectives. Add. Full. Space. Dummy. And you press enter. As you can see in the chat, it says I already have uh, I already have an objective for you guys. It will just uh, spawn one in, and you're good to go. And that is basically the whole tutorial. Just keep in mind, if you do want more spells, you have to make more of these right here with different data values, and as well as that, if you want the naming and the titles, you gotta copy these, but just with a different data, data value and a different name potentially of the spell. And you need these, more of these, to make the spell actually work if you want to incorporate more than two spells. But that is pretty much for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, and just as a side note, because I did completely forget to say this, this is completely multiplayer friendly. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.